right? We continue on Sunday, and now we get to the Sunday early games uh, in the afternoon, and this will include the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts off of one of the upsets of the season so far by beating the Kansas City Chiefs for their first win last week. They are three-and-a-half-point favorites. Tennessee, uh, very impressive in the first half, then hung on to beat the Raiders at home last week for their first win. Tennessee getting three-and-a-half here on the BetUS line. The total at 42. Chris Farley, we are coming to you first. Right back to you. What is the official play on this one? Yeah, I like the Titans here a lot, especially because we're getting the hook, right? I mean, to me, these are two very even teams. So if you're giving me three and then three and a half, uh, so you get the hook under a field goal, not too shabby. For whatever reason, the Colts have not beat the Titans at home in the regular season since 2018. For whatever reason, when Tennessee goes over there, they're pretty comfortable. And how could I be impressed by the Colts last week? I mean, I give I give Matt Ryan credit. He hung in there, tough, taking hits, scrambling all game. But, man, you talk about a confluence of factors to benefit the Colts in that game against the Chiefs. The Chiefs made just four terrible, terrible mistakes in special teams. That, In my opinion, that led to the Colts win. Uh, Colts defense stepped up there, too. But, again, you know, a lot of people talking about Shaq Leonard, too, and how that's going to change this defense. Maybe. You know, maybe if, if he comes back, they're a lot better. I mean, he's a great player. But from reports that I'm seeing from Frank Reich, they're just not uh, very confident yet, like in his movement. You know, he's just not as explosive. He's not quite ready. So even if he plays, I'm not sure it makes a big difference in this one. We saw Derrick Henry finally get going a little bit last week against the Raiders. Uh, you know, we saw Tannehill mix it up with his wide receivers a little bit. And this is just a tough team. It's going to continue to be a tough team under Mike Vrabel. You know, I, I can't, you know, that loss in week two against the Bills, that was more about the Bills, if you ask me. If the Titans are not what they used to be, I think that's especially true without A.J. Brown because he was Tannehill's safety blanket game in and game out. But they're still going to be a competitive team, especially in a divisional matchup. So three and a half, I got to like the Titans here. Well, and again, uh, here for this matchup, the uh, the status of uh, Jonathan Taylor, another player that missed practice on Wednesday. He's got a toe injury. He's a big part of the Colts offense. He ran it well in the game with Kansas City, but he's an unknown as we head uh, towards the weekend. Um, I love this play with you. Uh, we'll we'll plug our brother's show here on BetUS TV, Three Dog Thursday. I was all over this on Three Dog Thursday. I'm liking the Titans on the road. They are 4-1 and one straight up and against the spread in the last five meetings against the Colts. And all of those games, by the way, against Frank Reich as the head coach, even though Matt Ryan's the first-year quarterback. All right, Brad, that's enough of us on this game. I know you don't have an official play, but any thought on Titans-Colts real quick before we move on? Yeah, for me, it's going to be Titans or nothing. Um, I do a segment on my personal Twitter page called Operation Fade, where I look at the top four most public bet NFL spreads, and I fade one. And last week, I By the way, the Operation team. Fade does not have anything to do with the hairdo, because that's an outstanding <laughs> fade. This is a different fade that yeah. we're talking about, Brad. Go ahead. Yes, and so I, I, faded the, I faded the Chiefs, and I just felt it was a perfect storm for the Chiefs. Now, when watching that game— if you were to ask me at the end of the game if I felt like I made the right decision, I would tell you I did not. It took a myriad of fortunate events for the Colts to win. I was not impressed, and I have not been impressed with the Colts' offensive line. I was not impressed. I have not been impressed with Matt Ryan's decision-making. There's just so much that happens in that game. You would think that watching Matt Ryan, uh, he's probably in his third or fourth year, right? He holds the ball too long. He, he throws too many turnover-worthy passes. And now you're going against a Titans team who Ryan Tannehill was playing for his job. If you ask me, he was playing for his job last week. And he's even scored a touchdown with his wheels. Like, it's just a perfect storm for the Titans to cover in this game because I don't think both teams are either very good. Uh, I have them both rated pretty lowly on my on my power rankings. And they're both 1-4 and four against the spread in their last five games. So, just like Chris said, if they're really even, if you get 3.5, you got to take it. And the Titans, obviously, we're looking forward to seeing what they can do here in this. Again, keep in mind, Chris knows this, he's a Giants guy, and we're about to talk about the Giants here in just a second. Uh, the Titans had the game, and then the Giants late in the game, shoulda, coulda, woulda, uh, get the touchdown, get the two, but the Titans then go down and get into field goal range, and Randy Bullock missed the kick in his own stadium. If he makes that kick, then we're talking about them winning in the opening week. Instead, it's a loss. It's an 0-2 start. They won last week, so for whatever it's worth, we'll see what happens 
uh, with the Titans and the matchup with the Colts. We want to remind you before we move on, thank you for finding us. We're here Thursdays, 1 p.m. live with the BetUS NFL show. Spread the word. You can do us a favor right below. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're sharing us out. We're going to talk about every game, every week in some detail, even if there's not an official play. You find it all right here on BetUS TV. Again, live on Thursday. Keep the comments coming. I'm seeing the audience grow. Uh, guys, keep the comments coming. You'll see some comments coming up on the screen. We'll kind of address those. Uh, some of the peeps are in the comments section going back and forth on some of these different games. Keep that all coming. We love that here on BetUS TV. Hey.